Let's look closer at Latin America's growing cases. Gabriel Cepaluni, Associate Professor of International Relations at Sao Paulo State University, joins us live from Sao Paulo. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. So as you look at the overall COVID situation across Latin America, what stands out to you about what's changed since the outbreak started surging there? Um, I'm looking from the Brazilian perspective with probably the worst case scenario in Latin America. I, I think the situation will get better. I try to be positive, um, but we are on the center, epicenter of the pandemic. So uh, there are around uh, 1,000 deaths every day. So it's very bad. But uh, I hope uh, we will have a vaccine soon this semester. So then at this devastating time, how are some of the biggest countries like Brazil and Mexico really handling the pandemic? Um, I'm not an expert on Mexico. I, I know that Brazil is doing very bad. bad. Um, we, we are in a terrible situation. We are the number two right now after the US in, in, in terms of deaths. Uh, Mexico has around half of uh, the number of deaths of Brazil. So they're also not doing very well. It's very hard for large countries with large economies and federal system to deal with the, the pandemic. So, so now so, there, are, so, there, there are some countries that are managing better than others. Give us some examples of those countries and what they're doing. Um, in Latin America, probably the smallest countries are doing better, even in terms of per capita deaths. Um, cases like Uruguay, Costa Rica, and Paraguay are, are cases, are good cases. I think it's a combination uh, when you have a smaller country and, and a small economy, it's easier to, to deal with the pandemic. If you have a large economy, probably you have a lot of uh, um, uh, interest groups pressure uh, your country to open the economy sooner than later. So it might be one of the reasons, but uh, actually we are, as everybody, we are learning um, why we, we are um, facing this situation. Now, we know that a lot of companies are testing their vaccines in Latin America. Explain why there and, and how that's been working. Um, I believe that most uh, companies are testing vaccines here because we have uh, a lot of cases. It makes more sense to test uh, um, a vaccine in a country that uh, has a lot of cases. Uh, you, you shouldn't test a vaccine in New Zealand uh, that has few cases. So this is the first factor. Uh, the second factor that um, some people say is that probably it's cheaper to, to test a, a vaccine in, in a, a low, low income country than in a rich country. So this, this might be a possibility. We have to examine also the regulations to right. test a vaccine. And just quickly, okay. we have about tw about 20 seconds. For countries that were already struggling with economic and political issues like Venezuela, how has this pandemic really exacerbated underlying problems? Uh, I, I'm, I'm very sorry about uh, countries like Venezuela. I think the situation was already terrible and I cannot see a bright future for them in the short term. Um, but being positive, I, I hope that in maybe in two or three years, uh, the situation will get back to normal. All right. But Thank uh, you. not in the short term.